Hello, welcome to a very special edition of our French Journal Author Chats. Today I'm speaking with a whole West Town crew of eight students who were um, our honorees in the uh, third annual Student Voices Project. Thank you so much for being with me today, guys. Can I get a wave? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there in the back are two of their teachers, Brian. Hey, Brian. And Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you for getting the students all together for me. Um, you guys are pretty lucky to have Brian and Jennifer as your teachers, I think. They're, they're pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, so I'll let the teachers get going, um, and I'm going to speak with the students now. Thanks, yeah. guys. Bye. All right, West Town student honorees, um, this is awesome. So uh, for viewers at home, these guys were published in our April 2016 issue, which features the third annual Student Voices Project. Um, and their pieces are awesome. They've written some pieces and they and there's a couple of art pieces in there. I'm wondering if any of you have been published before. Uh, your stuff is like really great. Have you ever been published in a magazine before? Anyone? No? That's crazy. Oh, Jack, have you? Class. <laughs> What's that? Second, I don't know, it was like second grade or first grade art class. The whole class got published. Oh, sweet. Okay, so, you know, this is your second yeah. time around. Bro, already. All right, that's great. Um, so I'm super happy you all participated. And today, instead of going through all of your pieces, which... Um, I definitely encourage viewers and readers to check out in the issue and online. Um, we're going to do something a little different. We are going to play Quaker related Jeopardy. And this is going to be a community team oriented uh, game where there's not necessarily a winner at the end, but you guys all work together to see how, um, how close you can get to like a, a perfect score. Uh, but before we get into that, I'd like you guys to each introduce yourselves and maybe say um, the, the title of your piece that got submitted. And why don't we start with Rena down at the bottom there. So, so real loud voice, say, say what your name is. And then um, the piece that you had printed in the, in the magazine. Uh Hi, my name is Rena Bradley, and the piece that I had in the magazine was One Community, Many People. Oh. I'm Sophie, and my piece was Souls for Souls. I'm Heidi, and mine was Pants for Peace. Hi, I'm Natalie, and my piece was uh, Periodic Table of Elements for a Community. I'm Carol, um, my piece was If the Tax Aren't Lowered, This Is Gonna Stop. I'm Tony, and my piece was The Unity of God. Um, I'm Franklin, and my piece was called Time to Step Up. I'm Jack, and my piece was called... Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we changed the title of yours, so I that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say it again? Conflict in my community. Yeah, that's it. All right, sweet. Okay, guys, thanks. Um, so let's move into the, the Jeopardy game. And uh, Rena, why don't you start? So you're in the hot seat. Yeah, Rena. Yeah, Rena. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start out with, um, there's going to be three rounds. And I have some music for us to keep it upbeat. One second. All right. Um, so I'll hold up the uh, questions here, and you just get to select the category and then one of the point values. And then I'll read that question to you, and you'll have an opportunity to answer it yourself. But if you need help or if you'd like to ask your, um, your, your fellow students behind you, then you can do that, and you'll get half credit for the question. Okay. All right. Can you hear that? All right. Okay, so Rena, you're up. What um, would you like? 
History of Quakerism 200. All right, History of Quakerism for 200. Yep. Who was the founder of Quakerism? George Fox. That's it. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, you're out of the hot seat. Who's next? Okay. Do I move? Or... <laughs> can I? Yeah, yeah, you can move. So, Sophie, you'll be next. All right. So, history of Quakerism for 200 is gone. All right. I'll do history of Quakerism for 400. For 400. Okay. In what country was Quakerism founded? England. Ding, ding, ding. That's it. Good job. <laughs> Yay. Okay, Heidi, you're up. So, that one's gone. Um, I'll do French Journal 200. French Journal 200. Okay. What volume and number is the April 2016 issue? And I have a hint ready for you if, if you need help. And you can go ahead and look at the issue there. Volume 62, number Yeah, sweet. You got it. You guys are good. So that was 200. Natalie is next. Um, history of Quakers in 600. All right. Going for it. Okay. Um, on what natural landmark did George Fox receive a vision? Do you, do you want to ask your friends? Pendle Hill. Pendle Hill, that's it. Good job. <laughs> so you get half for that. There's a pop-up. Uh-oh. Is there a pop-up? It's fine. Okay. So Carolina, you're up. Um, I'll do Friends Journal 400. Friends Journal 400. How many books did Friends Journal review in the April 2016 issue? Uh, you can look at it, yeah. Oh, <laughs> We can ask for help. Yeah, you can ask for help, but the answer is in there. You have to find the book section. I think you're there. I'm here? Oh, no, you were there, yeah. I was there. Uh, Do you see? No. I think it starts on page 40. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you might have to do some counting. Okay, this is too much. <laughs> you could do it. That's it. You did it. It took a little bit of work. Yay. All right. Tony or Jack? Uh, I'll do history of the hundred. All right. Okay. Name 
two important justice issues that Quakers have addressed with social and political action. Um, first is slavery. Yeah, anti-slavery abolition. Okay, and that's one. Conditions of prisons, I guess. Yeah, prison reform. Sweet, good job. You got it. That was awesome. So that was 800. Other, uh, like, uh, other answers could have been um, women's equality and rights, the suffrage movement, peace and nonviolence, um, war tax resistance, and more modern day is climate change. So, good. Oh, wait, and I totally forgot. There was a bonus for that question. So every round has two bonus questions. Um, so the bonus for that, and this is for an extra 100 points, is what is the term for someone who actively opposes involvement in war? What? Yeah, that's it. Good. So you guys get another 100 points. Okay. So who's next? Franklin. I'll go with friends. Six hundred. Okay. Who is featured on the Quaker Speak page in the April twenty sixteen issue? The name, the name is on there somewhere. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, is it Marge Abbott? Yeah, that's it. Good job. And there's a bonus for this question, too. Great. So the bonus is, what organization partnered with us on the political mini-series on that page? Friends Committee on National Legislation. That's it. Good job. You got it. All right, one more for this round. I think the only one that's left. <laughs> All right, Friends Journal for 800. How many subscribers does Friends Journal magazine have? And your hint is that it's on the Let's Grow Together spread which is in the middle of the magazine. Ah, oh, great. Uh, oh, here we go. It is 12,000. What was the question again? How many <laughs> subscribers does Friends Journal have currently, according to that page? 6,110? Yes. Very okay. good. Okay. So, I'm going to tally up where you guys, that's the end of round one. I'm going to tally, you up, tally up where you guys are right now. So, out of a possible 4,000 points, um, you got... Whoops. Let's see. Thirty nine hundred. Okay, now we're on to round two, um, starting with Rena. Or let's go backwards. Let's start with Jack. You're up again. <laughs> okay. So we have new categories for round two. Uh, let's start big Quakerism today for 800. Whoa, Quakerism <laughs> today for 800. Start big. Okay. 
What is the point of meeting for worship? Dude. And there's a bonus for this question. But first, answer that. The point of meeting for worship is to gather together so that in a, in a community so that we may find the peace of God within ourselves together. Yeah, that was very, very nicely said. Well done. <laughs> um, and the bonus is, what is your experience of meeting for worship like at West Town? So really, there's no right or wrong answer here. I just want to know an answer. <laughs> How do you guys do meeting for worship at West Town? Um, you come every Thursday, or you have it every Thursday. And if you're a boarder, you have it every Sunday as well. For and how long? 43 minutes yeah. on Thursday and an hour on Sunday. 43 minutes? That's how long the period is. So I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is a very specific number. Okay, cool. Thank you. You get the bonus question too. <laughs> All right, who is next? Franklin. Um, I will take Quakerism for two, or Quakerism today for 200. Quakerism today for 200. All right, name the Quaker testimonies for which SPICES is an acronym, and it must be in order. Okay, uh, simplicity. Peace, integrity, community, equality, stewardship. Awesome. You got it. Tony's up. I'll do a prison today for 400. Baker isn't today for 400. What continent in the world has the greatest number of Quakers? Africa. That's it. You guys are smart. Or these are really easy questions. <laughs> um, okay. Carolina. I'll go uh, Quakers in today's 600. All right. What is the basic belief? of Quakerism. That there's a God of God in everyone. Yeah, and, and that is also known as... Equality? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. But the, there's like a term that Quakers use for it. Like everyone has an inner... Uh, inner light. Inner light, yeah. Good, yay. <laughs> okay. Natalie's up. Um, student Voices Project for 200. Student Voices Project for 200. What was the theme of this year's project? Community. <laughs> right? Mm, yes, but that's not the full answer. So Building a community. Is. Building community. That's it. Yay. Okay. Heidi. Um, I'll do Student Voices Project 400. Okay. How many students participated in the project this year? Um, it says over 150. And if you keep reading, it'll give you a, an exact answer. 153. Yeah, that's it. Whoa. <laughs> Sophie. I'll do the Student Voices Project for 600. Okay. Name one of the other friend schools represented 
by this year's honorees. And there's a bonus for this question. But first, answer that one. Sidwell Friends School. Yes. And the bonus is, where is that school located? <laughs> Do you know? D.C. Yeah, that's it. Good job. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> your student list project seems like a great idea. Okay. For 800, the last one of round two. What are three titles of other pieces by Student Voices honorees not from West Town? Oh, okay. Um... There is How to Define Community by Kate Levy. Um, un, uh, untouched by, I have no idea how to say that. Aviva Wright? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Happy to be here, and that's about it. Okay, awesome. That's it. So you guys nailed that round and got both the bonus questions right. So you got 4,200. Awesome. All right, we have one more round, and this is going to be a quicker round. There's only four questions. So decide who the four people will be to go ahead. Looks like Jack is volunteering. Who else? Jack. Four. Okay, so you're you're ready yeah. with your four people? Okay. So one of the four can start. Okay. All right, round three. Um <laughs> West Town School two hundred. West Town School for two hundred. What is West Town? Oh, wait, there's a bonus for this, too. Okay. So first, what is West Town's mascot? The moose. A moose. That guy, that's crazy. I was looking at the West Town website today to get questions, and I just loved that. So that's cool. You guys are, What? wait, what's the plural of moose? Mooses? Moose, right? Moose. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and the bonus is what year was West Town founded? 1799. Awesome. You guys know your history. Yeah. All right. Who's next? Um, I'll do West Town School 800. Okay. West Town School for 800. How many countries, and I got this on the West Town website, how many countries are represented by the student body of West Town? Um, I think 17, mm. 18. Yeah, 18. That's it. <laughs> I'll give it to you. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Famous Quakers for 200. Famous Quakers for 200. What is the name of George Fox's friend that eventually left England to found the colony of Pennsylvania in the United States? William Penn. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This is the last question of the last round. Oh, I don't think I You can do it. Hi, uh, yeah. You're, you, there's only one to choose from. Okay. <clears throat> so, I have a hint for this one if you need it. Um, name one of the famous Quaker women leaders in the suffrage movement which was the movement to get women the right to vote. Oh my gosh, I see her face in my brain. Wait, oh my gosh. Okay. 
your hint, please? Well, so my hint is really just that it's been in the news recently. Um, you may have heard of these women be in the news recently because um, our currency is getting an updated design. Have you heard about this? The the twenty dollar bill. What's that? That's all right. Um, yeah, our twenty dollar bill and ten dollar bill and five dollar bill are all getting an update to feature more women on our paper bills. And three of these women were actually Quakers that were involved in the suffrage movement in the uh, early 1900s. Yeah, that's good. You got it. Lucretia Mott. <clears throat> um, the other ones are Susan B. Anthony and Alice Paul. So had you guys heard about that, the uh, updated currency design? Some yeah. of you are saying yes, some of you are saying no. Yeah, so the front of the $20 bill will be Harriet Tubman now. And the back of the $10 bill will feature five different people. Uh, Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Lucretia Mott, Alice Paul, and Sojourner Truth. And the back of the $5 bill will feature Marian Anderson, Eleanor Roosevelt, and Martin Luther King Jr. So those are all cool people you guys could look up and learn more about, but they won't be unveiled until like 2020. So in a couple of years, um, anyway, that concludes our game. Now let me do the final tally here. You guys got the last bonus question. So 1700, um, three, seven, Okay. Oh, you got a perfect score. Yay. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for playing. Um, it was awesome to get to talk to you. I'm so glad that West Town sent in so many submissions for our Student Voices Project. Um, is there anything else you guys want to say or, or questions you have? No. No? You're all good? Okay. Mm -hmm. So viewers can check out their work in the April issue, even though it's already May. It's still there. It's still online. You can check it out. Um, and I encourage all of you to submit again next year. We haven't announced yet our theme or our deadline for next year, but uh, we will do so in September when the new school year starts up again. All right. So have a good rest of your school year. And... Enjoy the rest of your day and your summer, and I hope to hear from you all very soon. Bye. Bye.